Hello fashion lovers, I'm Sophie Kachmanian and I welcome you in my studio where I'm going to demonstrate making the centered zipper for you. Zippers are a little bit uh, intimidating, at least to my students. A lot of students will construct very nice garments, but the zippers are not going to be done properly and because of that, the quality of work suffers a great deal. But actually, zippers are not intimidating if you keep the steps. The most important thing is that you understand which zipper is what and what kind of technique you use to stitch that particular zipper type. So if you remember those steps and type of zippers to go with it, then you're not going to have any problems of sewing decent zippers. First of all, let's understand the structure of the zipper and their types. So this first one is just a regular zipper, plastic zipper, where you can see the coil showing on the right side of the zipper. Also, the slider is on this side. So the coil of the zipper and the slider of the zipper are on the same side. Meanwhile, there are some other zippers that are called invisible zippers. The coil and the slider are not on the same side. So the coil is on the reverse side of it and the slider is on this side. This is the right side of the zipper. Okay, um, when we stitch these zippers, they produce different type of outcomes just because of their different structures. Before I start demonstrating how to stitch my first zipper, which is the centered zipper, Obviously, later on, I'm going to do a demonstration for the invisible zipper for you, but right now we're doing the simplest zipper structure, which is the centered or railroad zipper. But before we go to sewing it, I would like to mention the parts of the zipper. As I said, this was the coil. It could be made out of plastic or metal. In this case, it's plastic. It has twill tape that holds the zipper together. The twill tape usually is longer than the coil, usually about three quarter of an inch up and down like this. At the bottom, the zippers have most of the time metal stoppers. So my slider doesn't jump out of the twill tape or the coil. And also we have stoppers at the top. Knowing where they are and being aware of them is very important for our sewing. So that's why we have to remember these terms so we can understand and communicate with each other properly. So I am going to prepare two pieces of fabric because I want to come up with a sample like this. As you can see, these two pieces of fabrics that are placed together supposedly as my garment, let's say this is the back of my skirt and I put seven inch zipper in here and my zipper is stitched in a certain way and this is called centered zipper or railroad zipper. If I open up the edges, you can see my coil underneath, but the coil is not visible from the top. When those two lips of folded fabric come together and meet right at the center. We have to also pay attention on one thing that my stoppers above are placed half an inch down from the upper edge of the fabric. Let's say, imagine this is the, the upper part of the skirt that is going to be pushed into the waistband. That's my seam allowance. That's why I stitch it half an inch down from that edge and my stopper is matched to that point. And then my zipper goes seven inches down and um, stitched larger quarter inch away from the fold and then across and then up again. And that's pretty much is my centered zipper. Here's how we, we do it. I take two pieces of fabrics, four by 12, 
or 11. I'm planning to put my zipper, insert my zipper into this seam allowance here um, because later on, after stitching the zipper into place, I'm not going to be able to overlock my uh, unfinished edges. Therefore, I take my time and actually overlock or zigzag the edges to start with before I put my zipper in place. So go ahead and secure your edges. And then place these two fabrics face to face and measure seven and a half inches from the top. This is my top. This is the end of the zipper. So seven and a half inches. I should not forget to mention by that my zipper is seven inches long, okay? If it's seven inches long, I need also half an inch seam allowance above. So the start of the zipper is going to be half an inch down and the bottom is my seven inch mark. By the way, I have to tell you that there are two different or a few different ways, ways of stitching this zipper in a place and I'm introducing you to one of them. For that, this is, imagine my skirt's center back seam. I need to stitch this closed to start with. That's what I'm doing right now. So this is seven and a half inches down and then whatever is left, that is going to be stitched right now. Therefore, wherever my pencil mark was, I pinned my fabric and I'm going to stitch half an inch seam allowance right here. Okay, you can look at the marks on your plate right here. You can even at the edge with that mark so you can stitch the half an inch seam allowance properly. I'm going to stay stitch here, secure stitch, okay, and then continue. Okay, so to start with, I stitched the remaining measurement of my fabric as my center back skirt, center back fabric, um, and sides are stitched half an inch now I am going to apply another stitch from this point up you can't continue that stitch you have to stop this and then I am going to stitch this part closed I am already getting ready to insert my zipper between my fabrics now, in order for us to do that, we would like to change the stitch length to the biggest stitch that you have available on your machine. For instance, I have um, number four. That's where I put my number. Okay, so um, here I'm going to stitch from the beginning or from the end of my previous stitch right here. I am not going to secure stitch. I simply start from the mark and I stitch up on number four stitches and I am not secure stitching because this is a temporary stitch. I'm going to remove it at the end. Okay, please don't secure stitch at the end. because it is going to be removed. So I have a regular stitch and basting stitch above. After I have this, I need to press the seams open. I shouldn't forget to mention that I left my threads hanging because I want to have a tail to grab it and pull it off. Because as I mentioned before, this above stitch is a temporary stitch. So I'm going to press both of them together the whole seam allowance like this. I'm going to place my fabric half an inch right here above the stoppers. You see, above the stoppers, half an inch above the stoppers. If these tips are sticking out, the zippers, tool tips, tips are sticking out, don't worry about that because you're going to cut them off anyway. Okay, so then half an inch up this way 
and you have to make sure that the coil is placed and centered under the under the seam you see i'm feeling my coil under my seam precisely like this so hold it like that and pin it in the place when you pin it you can pin this way and the second pin will go the opposite direction so your fabric doesn't shift shift from the side to side okay again i am double checking to see don't stretch the fabric don't stretch the zipper keep them even and pin once from the right and once from the left like this by pinning like that you are preventing the zipper from shifting underneath okay um i finished pinning my zipper under the fabric it's lined up with the seam and what I want to do is, can you see I can feel my stopper from the top? Here it is. I don't want to step on this stopper, metal stopper at the bottom because I will break my needle. When I'm stitching down quarter inch away from the fold, I should make sure to come and pass the stopper just a bit and then across over the seam and then stitch up. Let's assume I am not exactly sure that I'm going to fill the stopper while I'm stitching. I can place a very, very small dot here so later on I can see it. Okay, so, but before I start stitching, I need to take care of something on my machine. You see my regular pressing foot is not going to do the job for me. So every sewing machine, has a zipper foot in the kit that looks like this. Can you see there are like carved half circle openings on both sides of this plastic piece? So once I put this on, if I am going to stitch from this side of the zipper, then I make sure that I use this side. You see that side? If I'm going to start stitching from this side, then I'm going to use this side of the road that goes inside of that plastic right there. Okay, so let's remove the regular presser foot and um, add my zipper foot. Somehow, I like stitching from the right side. Therefore, somehow I see it correctly. Different people are feeling different so simply you just see which which side do you like the most okay lift up the needle and place your zipper foot on that side on that given side you see it it should be clicking and getting in the place here i'm going to stitch a little larger than quarter inch from the fold and obviously i'm going to secure stitch first Don't forget to bring the seam number back again. Here you see my dot right here i'm going to go a little bit just a bit below that dot like one stitch or two and then leave the needle in lift up the presser foot pivot the fabric and you are going to pass over the other side the same distance now again leave the needle in there lift up the presser foot 
go down Okay, now we're removing the pasting stitch. So you see here, it opens. By an accident, I cut my above thread, but I can unzip it and pull, pull it out so I can remove. You see, once you pull from one side and once you pull from the opposite side and you keep on opening the seam. Okay, so now can you see if on this sample also as you can see the zipper is not showing it's covered it's a different uh, story if we want to come up with exposed zipper in that case we would like to show the the uh, coil but now the center zipper is not showing the coil. It is not an invisible zipper. This is a regular zipper, but the coil should be hidden under the fabric where the stopper stops half an inch down from the top. Okay, so if you want your uh, sample to be pre more presentable, you can finish up the edges and, um, and then put it in your sewing book so it looks nice. With this, I am concluding my demonstration of the centered or red road zipper. Have fun with them and hope you will not have any problems of stitching this. See you next time. Bye.